Hi there, this is David, and today I want to talk about New Year's resolutions. I came to you guys about a month ago or so, giving you some diet and fitness tips. Um, some things that I do personally to stay in shape. And I said that if this was a popular series, that I would continue doing it. And a lot of people have asked me over the years, Hey, how do you stay in shape? You know, you're 40 years old. My God, what do you do? Well, right now it's New Year's Day, and this is the time that a lot of people do make resolutions and they want to make changes in their lives. So let's just talk about that for a minute. Making a resolution is the easy part. Keeping it is the hard part. Growing up, we had to come up with New Year's resolutions every single year and we had to share them at the dinner table. Whether it be we wanted to get better grades, be more outgoing in school, or making friends, uh, we had to share those and then we always had to be asked by our parents, well, how are you going to make that resolution come to fruition? What are you going to do in order to fulfill that resolution? Well, now that I think about it, I really want to go and talk to you guys about what I tell my students whenever I tell them to write descriptive essays. And I have them answer who, what, where, when, why, and how. How are you going to keep these resolutions? Let's start with who. Who are you losing the weight for? Are you losing it for yourself? Are you losing it for your partner? Are you losing the weight for your health? And also who? Do you have someone to keep you accountable? Do you have a workout or a diet buddy? These things help. Think about that and write it down. And then what? What exactly are you trying to do? Are you trying to lose weight around your waist? Gain mass in your arms or your chest? You need to strictly define what your starting stats are, what your inches are, and then also what your goals are. Make some realistic end year goals. Now, what I normally do is I take a planning calendar and I start in January and I literally measure. And then I create a goal of what I want those measurements to be come December. You could make goals like that, or you could do simpler goals saying like, hey, I want to look good in this shirt, or I want to fit into this old pair of pants. Think of it like you're leveling up in a JRPG. These are the stats that you want to gain, and you just need to do some grinding. Then where? Where are you going to work out? Are you going to go to a gym? Are you going to work out at home? Are you going to do both? Make yourself a priority. I mean, it might be fun to come home from work and then you veg out playing a game and eating some potato chips, but that doesn't make you a priority. And also, don't forget, you can combine gaming and working out together. I mean, just see my prior video. I gave you guys all sorts of different tips on how to do that. Then there's when. When are you going to work out? Make a schedule and keep it. That is extremely important. Make a schedule, prioritize yourself, and keep that schedule. Don't make any excuses. Then why? Think to yourself, why do you want to change your body? Do you want self-confidence? Do you want to get a partner? Do you want to just be healthier? Be honest with yourself. That is one of your goals. Write that down as well. And finally, we have how. How is the most important question to ask. How are you going to do it? How are you going to reach this goal? Well, let me give you five ways that you can reach your goal. Number one, take measurements. I mentioned this before. You want to measure your arms, your chest, your thighs, your hips, and your waist. Whenever I say your hips, that is the, the widest part of your waist. The waist is just the portion around your belly button and use a tape measure. And unless you're severely uh, overweight, pounds, like on a scale, aren't exactly a good measure. Using actual tape measurements and in inches is the best measurement that you can do. Next, you're going to want to take monthly photos of yourself in the morning in your underwear. Save them on your computer and label them by month to track your progress. You can also, at this time, update your measurements. Go ahead and take those five measurements again and put that in the title portion of your progress uh, photographs on your computer. 
You can also use a calorie tracker such as Lose It or My Fitness Pal. Type in your goals and then log everything that you eat. Those calorie tracker apps are actually really, really good. And you can put in like, hey, I weigh 200 pounds and I want to get down to 180. And then you can say, well, my goal is to lose one pound a week. And then it will give you how many calories you need to consume in a day in order to get to that goal and then how long it would take you to get there as well. Those calorie trackers um, are extraordinarily helpful and it's really, really simple to use. I personally use Lose It and you can literally just scan a package and all of the calorie counts go straight into it. You don't have to type anything in. Number four, invest in yourself. Buy the healthier food. Take the time to cook a meal. Get up just a little bit earlier in the morning and walk around the block. Little tiny things like that really do add up over the course of the year. And then finally, if you fall off the wagon, just get right back up again. Not on Monday or tomorrow. Don't beat yourself up about it. But if you screw up at lunch, just make dinner healthy. There's no reason to put off till tomorrow or put off till next week your, your inevitable crash diet because you don't want to do that. Crash diets will just do what they're called. They will make you crash. You don't want that. You want a diet that you can stick to, something realistic, something healthy. But just make sure that if you screw up on Wednesday, that you don't wait till Monday to fix it. Just fix it with the very next meal. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what I'm probably going to be doing is making monthly videos about just little diet and fitness tips, things that have actually helped me over the course of the years. And the next video that I'm going to be doing is about easy food substitutions that you can do that are very simple, very easy to make healthy meal planning a cinch. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.